welcome back to the channel. Happy Pintastic Thursday. I feel like I've created Funko Thursdays and Pintastic Thursdays. So anytime I have one of those on Thursdays, that's just what we're going to call here on the channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Rita. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you stick around and subscribe to be part of the Disney fam. I put out tons of Disney content for you guys Tuesday through Thursday. So I really hope that you enjoy something here on my channel. Today is going to be a magic mail pintastic Thursday video. It's mostly all pins, but I have one non pin item that I am currently wearing. And so I wanted to share that with you guys as well. If you are familiar with Jessie from Miss Cherry's channel, she did do a collab with this t shirt company. A magic moon i think it's called oh my god i totally screwed up that but i think it's called magic moon um and they released a daddy t-shirt and can we talk about this t-shirt it is like the cutest thing ever i'm literally obsessed with anything daddy related like me and her are on the same vibrations with this whole daddy thing and i'm in love with it it's interesting on camera it's picking up as much more of a blue but it's actually um, a lot more of like a teal color like a teal turquoise I'll try to insert a photo of it showing the true color but for some reason my camera is picking it up as like blue which is very interesting but it is very cute I am obsessed with it I love the detailing I love the gold on it I love daddy's fin and his like abs that are like embedded in this Y it is so cute so um, I believe they're still on sale um, I will link her channel talking about this shirt below or her video I should say talking about this shirt so you guys can pick one up if you like but definitely I wanted to support her because she is one of my girls so I had to do that okay so besides this one now let's get into the pins and the first magic meal I have comes from another Disney YouTubers uh, I say YouTubers because two girls it's uh the Disney sisters Hope and Abby they are so kind they always pick up pins for me I'm really local to the parks but I just can't get to the parks on a Thursday morning Hashtag full-time job that always gets in the way of all Disney things so they just pick up pins for me and I'm just like you know what I'd rather just go ahead and pay for the shipping um, to have them than missing work or just missing out on the pin altogether so um, that's really nice and some of these pins I'm very excited for so here we go and honestly I have to practice like total self-control because they always send me like you know the monthly pin release and they're like okay Rita what do you want and and I'm like, I just want everything, like, just put it on a tab and just get me all the pins. But I literally have to practice self-control. Like, they're always messaging me, like, hey, this is available, this is available, like, do you want it? And I'm just like, hope. It's usually hope, I think, messaging me. I'm like, hope, please stop messaging me because all my money is just going to you. Like, I can't, I can't take it no more. But... I love it. Thank you so much, you guys, um, the Disney sisters, for doing this for me. I did have the box already, but I already opened it up because I was way too excited. I haven't actually opened up the pins, but I just was excited to see, like, the pins in packaging. So, um, she, they did put it in a nice Disney bag, and then they do have their card right over here. And on the back it says, hey friend, I hope you enjoy your new pins. They are so adorable. Sending you love from Florida, Hope and Abby. So once again, thank you so much ladies for picking these pins up for me. All right, here we go. Let's jump into it. I'm no specific order. I'm just going to grab the first one. So this one was definitely um, uh, like a, not an impulse, but it was just like, oh, pull my arm. Like fine, get it for me. And because um, I was really going to hold off on it. I only actually... This is the first one of this series I have. I didn't really care for them. I didn't really want to collect them, but this is part of my, one of my main collections. So I decided to go ahead and get it. And it is the I Love Gaming pin. So I definitely wanted to pick this pin up. And this is the Beauty and the Beast themed one. And so I, I think I mentioned this in my last pin video with Marcy Mouse's live sale that I don't want to have a Belle collection. I want to have a Beauty and the Beast collection for my pins. And right now it's predominantly all Belle. And so I'm trying to incorporate more other characters. So this is like a perfect example. This one has Mrs. Potts and I think um, 
chip as well. Yeah, it's like the two, I think it's the two of them together. Um, so I wanted this one for that reason. So let me go ahead and take it, take it off the backing really quick so I could show you this pin. And it is a very thick pin. I love how thick it is. I want, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a, almost like a pin on pin kind of thing. It's like a very thick pin. So let me go ahead and put it on the trusty pin board here so we can get you that and um so if you can tell i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but it definitely moves can we see that yeah you should be able to see that look how cute this is i love this little pin so it's uh, like um actually what what it looks like it is is like chip on a plate and then he like comes off the plate and then he's like in between the plates I hope I hope you guys can see that. Oh, there you go. I think I have to do it like a full on turn for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was long enough. Anyways, this is the I Love Gaming pin, and they've been definitely releasing these all uh, month long, all year long. I'm sorry, not month long. And they came out with some really cute ones. I just kind of been holding off, but I did want this one. So here's how the back looks in case you are interested. It is a two pin back. And once again, here is the pin. I don't know if it's focusing. Okay, here we go. Okay. There it is. And I think me holding it and doing it might be a little bit better for the purpose of this. So there it is. Really cute pin. Okay, the next pin, let's just jump into this bag. Let's see, no um, order here. Okay, so this one is not in a collection I have. However, this is another one of those monthly series and this one I've pretty much been collecting and not so much because I've been purchasing them but because the lovely ladies at Bippity Boppity Boxes have been putting these uh, specific pins in my box and so I just naturally pretty much have all of these now because I purchased I think like two on my own and then they've included like two already so I'm on a roll and I told the girls you know what I'm already pretty much collecting this series might as well just collect the whole thing so that's kind of where we're at and it is the vintage vinyl collection and so oh, let me put it back in there and it is of the jungle book look how cute this is I really like this series actually I love the display like the picture they have as the main thing of like the record and then the little playful element of like the record like coming out of it I think it's so cool so I'll go ahead and show you that really quick as well so give me one second so there is the pin and then here is the record that comes out. Is that not the cutest thing? And it says Walt Disney The Jungle Book Side 1. And it has like the little baby elephant, which I also love the little baby elephant. Let me see if I can um, get this to focus just a little more with my trusted pin board. There it is. Look how cute. I love that. It's so cute. So definitely wanted this in my collection. All right. That's two of four. I think I got a total of four pins from these girls. So the next one, let's jump in. Oh, I, I want to save this one for last. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to go in order, but I really want to save this one for last because uh, it's it's just really cute and it's just like totally me if you guys know me on this channel you know that it's totally me um so the next one is again one of these vintage vinyls as you can see like uh, this is like two month process of like collecting pins i just tell the girls like open up a tab for me and then when i decide to finally um close out the tab then i tell them to close my tab so that's just kind of how these things go so this one is the Oliver and Company vintage vinyl and I really wasn't going to get this one and I think actually I didn't specifically tell the girls like yes I want it. It was more so like yeah I think I want it and then they ended up just picking it up for me and I was like okay fine well you picked it up for me I'm just going to get it then. Um, and I mostly I was iffy on this one because I don't really love Oliver and Company. Um, I've seen the movie but it's been so long ago maybe I should rewatch it probably before I say that but um 
and there's a doggy on it and I forget his name because like I said I haven't seen the movie in so long but I figured okay I can put it as part of my dog collection and plus like I said because I've been collecting this whole vintage vinyl series I think I'm just gonna collect them all to be honest and I'm just gonna have all 12 of them and I think it'll be a really cute display so here it is and on the record it says Walt Disney's Oliver and Company and then it has two of the characters I'm sorry you guys like I really forgot their names because it's been a long time since I've seen this movie but there they are it's just really pretty like i said i really love these pins i just love the detail of like the vinyl record popping out of the case i think it's so cool and i'll show you the back and these um these ones are a limited edition of 3000 just so you know so both the oliver and company one and the jungle book one are an ellie of 3000 and then the gaming one is an LE of 1500 So in case you guys are wondering. So a little bit lower LE. All right, and then the last pin, I'm super excited about this. And this one I had to get because you'll see why. And I knew that I was probably not gonna be able to get to the parks for this one. And I like wanted to guarantee that I got this pin. And I'm really not too sure if it's still available or if it's sold out. I really don't have any idea. So I can't tell you at this moment. But I was like, please get me that pin because I need that pin. And it's so nice. I love it so much. So first of all, if you guys are new here or if you just haven't realized it, I love everything tropical. Like anything with the water, anything tropically, anything of that nature I love. And summertime, even though in California it is like blistering hot, I love summertime, especially when I was a kid more so. I feel like as an adult I have to like adult all the time and I can't enjoy summer like I used to. But when I was a kid, summer was my jam i was always at the pool i was just always doing anything water activity related at the beach whatever it was uh summer camp all those things so i love summertime so this pin first of all it says summer 2019 on it so just a nice time to remember this year and also it has one of my favorite characters like sidekick characters which is pua and hey hey but pua definitely look how stinking cute this pin is i am so happy i have this pin i low-key really want to probably just collect all pua pins um like a pua completist and i don't think it's gonna be too hard because i don't think there's like tons of pua pins out there but i think i might want to because i think he's really cute and plus i kind of have a low-key moana collection as well i just have zillions of collections and i don't know what i'm doing with myself but um this is obviously going to be part of like my Moana collection. This one was an LE of 2000. Let me show you the back of it really quick. So there's the back. And then let me show you the pin in all its glory. Um, actually, this is so hilarious. Um, <laughs> now that I see this pin, I am doing a pin tag that the Disney sisters tagged me in actually. And one of them was a pin with clouds and I had no pins with clouds. Hello, this pin has clouds on it. So thank you, Disney Sisters, for sending me this pin because now I can do that tag. Uh, so here is the pin. And look how cute it is. I just love the way Pua is. He's like front and center. You got Hey Hey in the back. I love all the colors. Um, it's The background is almost like metallic-y a little bit. It's just so cute. Like Pua just looks so adorable. So definitely a very, very cute pin. So those are all the pins that the Disney Sisters picked up for me. Thank you again, ladies, once again. That was awesome of you to do that, especially for this pin. And the last pin I want to show you guys is actually a trade I did with um, Alicia from Cinder Alley Loves Disney. She is so sweet. I love trading with her. I think I may have traded with her before. Or this is my first trade with her. I don't know it's my first trade with her yeah it's my first, it was my first trade with her but it was just really fun i talk to her anyways like on instagram all the time we chit chat all the time she's super sweet so let me get that pin really quick and we traded no nah, not too long ago this is pretty recent actually I'm, I'm filming this and so i also opened it just because i went to my p.o box and i just like to like right away open the package of my p.o box just in case anything like is damaged or funky or whatever the case is so it is opened up but i haven't actually got the pin out just yet and she's so cute she totally like got me with my moana sticker here and then she does have a rapunzel one in the back i don't want to show it because it has her address on there but really cute and i love the hot pink uh packaging by the way that's so cute so she included a letter in here as well which is very sweet and it says thank you and it has a fairy on it 
and then on the inside it says thank you for doing this trade with me you are my second disney pin trade ever girl you gotta get the pin trading uh getting to the getting to be friends with you over this last year has been so great i hope we could meet one day in person yes i really hope so too you guys i've met a few disney youtubers and let me tell you it has been such a great experience i love meeting every single one and subscribers i actually met a subscriber when i was at disneyland recently and it was so sweet like i um hi yvonne if you're watching by the way um i met her and she was the sweetest thing ever she like totally made my day so uh, if you're ever in the parks and you see me please say hi because I promise I'm really nice. <laughs> uh, so anyways, Alicia, I hope we get to meet because I would love to hang out with you. Okay, here we go. So this trade was actually for a pin that I did when I did my I found a bag of pins. If you saw that video, I'll link it down below for you guys. But legit, I found a bag of pins. And she saw a pin in there that she really wanted, so we went and traded for it. And it was, I think, my Monsters University pin. Um, she really wanted that one, so we traded. And the one I got is really cute. Uh, I'm so glad she got it. Uh, she was able to like send me this one and she shared it with me to do a trade with because it's part of my main collection which is Tangled and it's of Rapunzel and it's a Disney Cruise Line pin. Um, so I think it's an open edition pin. It's not like an LE or anything. Uh, yeah, so it's not an LE but it is a Disney Cruise Line pin and it's really cute. Let me go ahead and just take it off the backer really quick. It says want a hair braid and then it says Disney Cruise Line and it's just a really cute pin. All right, we need the pin board. Also guys, like, I'm filming with like a new camera, so I'm trying to like learn this camera. So I'm just, you know, I'm not used to this camera just yet, but we'll get there. Everything will be A-OK. -okay. You guys tell me if the quality looks good because this is a better camera supposedly, so it better look nice. Um, but here it is. Look how cute this pin is. I love her hair. She also looks good in this one for the most part. Um, her skin looks a little purpley, but other else than that, it's a really cute pin. Her hair looks gorgeous. So it's a really, really cute pin. So that is the pin we traded for. So another pin to add to my um, Tangled pin collection. All right, guys, this is everything for a Magic Mail and also Pintastic Thursday. I really hope you enjoyed it. Whatever I told you, I will link. I will link in my description box, so definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below what your favorite pin or item was that I got in this video. I would love to know. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!